So hi guys, today we are going to create this awesome cursor effect which will follow my mouse pointer wherever I move on the screen. So we will be making this using GSAP. Let me show you. GSAP is an animation platform which helps in creating awesome animations on the websites. So we will be using this library. So to start, I have just implemented an empty React project and nothing has been added in it. So this is the project here. First of all, what I will do is give some height and width to my page. And also I will give a back, dark background and text white. So now I can see that. Now I will also give it a flex and justify center, item center. So that everything is centered on the page. I am going to create a new folder inside the source component. And I will create a cursor.jsx component here. This will act as the white pointer which was moving on the screen. I will make a self-closing div and I will give it a height of around 20 pixels, width of 20 pixels and a background white. Oh, I have not included it here. Cursor, it is imported. So it is looking like this. To make it round, I have to add a class here, rounded full. Also, I would give it a Z index of 10 so that it is visible on top of all other elements on the screen. So it is looking like this. I don't want it to be centered here. So I will give it class absolute top zero and left zero. So now it is coming here in the top left corner of the screen. Now what I have to do is, first of all, I will install GSAP, npm i GSAP. GSAP is installed. Now I have to import GSAP from GSAP. So GSAP has been imported. Also for this effect, I will need the use effect hook from React. Now what I'm going to do is here, I will make a use effect. And I have to wrap this inside brackets. So inside this use effect, I will call an event listener on the window window dot add event listener it will be a mouse move event and whenever my mouse moves i will call a function which i will name handle mouse move also i have to return something here because whenever the component will unmount it will not throw errors and I will remove that event listener. I have copied the exact same line just I have added remove event listener. Also in the dependencies I will pass an empty array. So now I have to make this function. Const handle mouse move is equal to I will use an arrow function for this. What this arrow function will do is here inside of this I will uh, basically write all the gsap code so first of all i will get the mouse positions in client x and client y from this event listener so i have to use those values so i will use object destructuring client x and client y from event and also i have to get that event from here so I will get client X and client Y values in these two variables. After that, I have to call gsap, gsap.2. 
now i have to select this cursor div because i am going to move this so i will give it an id of cursor and now here i can call hashtag cursor to select that and here inside this i can use all the gsap properties so to the x i will give it as client x to the y i will give it client y so now when i am returning to the website see the mouse is already following me but there is a glitch when i stop moving see the that white ball is not centered inside the mouse so for that i have to subtract half of that radius so that it moves half left and half up so the size is uh, 20 pixel by 20 pixel so i will subtract 20 divided by 2 so now see when it is stopped the cursor is in the center of that white thing after doing this i can also maybe add a duration of one second i will give it a delay zero so that it doesn't feel laggy and i will give it an easing of maybe power four dot out so when i save it see it is perfectly following my cursor and now to implement that uh, hovering effect when the cursor grows in size now i think i won't need this use effect so first of all i will wrap this inside react fragments so that i don't get error when i try to return multiple components i will create a div here and i will give it a class of width full and height screen also i will create an h1 inside it which will act as some text maybe i can write cursor inside it or i will write over me and this h1 will be having text 9 excel so it is coming here i want it to be centered so on this day i will give it flex justify center and item center so this is centered now also when the mouse ones is on the text it changes to that other type of pointer so to fix that i will go to the index.css and here i will give pointer and default so now when i move on it it is still moving to that because i have added position instead of pointer is it pointer or i think it's cursor yes cursor default so now it is not changing perfect now what i want to do is whenever the mouse is hovered on this text the the white ball should grow in size so to do that i have to come here in the h1 and i will on mouse enter event listener and on mouse leave what i will do inside this is i will pass a function which will call gsap dot two on the cursor element so hashtag cursor what it will do is change the scale to maybe eight and also it will change it will take some duration otherwise it will be very fast and it will not look good and the same thing i will copy from here and give it on the mouse leave but here the scale will move back to one so when the mouse enters in this h1 the scale will increase to eight and when it leaves the scale will decrease to one 
see it is glitching a little bit and the reason for that is I have uh, see try to understand whenever this moves on this whenever see when I am moving fast it is growing properly but try to understand when I hover over this so my mouse pointer the black pointer when it is on the div on this h1 sorry it will grow in size but when I stop moving now my mouse is actually on this white ball it is not on the h1 see there is a white ball in between the text and the cursor so it will understand that it is not actually on the text so this on mouse enter will not work so to fix this thing we have to give it a pointer pointer events of none so when I do that see now it is still growing now a little problem that it is coming in front of that so but their color is same so even if it moves behind that it will look same for that I will change the color a little bit I will give it zinc 200 maybe so it is grayish in color or leave it I will give it red 200 so now I want that a text should appear in front and this pointer should go behind that so I have given this a Z index of 10 I will decrease it to 5 and here I will give it a higher Z index so now see the text is visible or I can do another thing that I will change this back and I will change the color also to white now I will give it a mix blend mode mix blend mode and I think it is difference so when I change it to difference when I move see the text color will change to black this looks even better so the hovering effect is also complete but this is just a single page there is no scrolling whenever we will add scrolling we will face a small issue to show that here I will create a div inside my app component and give it a height of screen and width full also I will make a similar div below the cursor component and now uh, this is given flex so it will be horizontally aligned so I will give it a flex column and now see now I have I'm getting a scrolling on the website but my cursor is not following it see it is glitching out and it is staying on that first page only I will add some text here so that you guys can see this is first page the, and this is third page actually because my cursor component is taking some so this is the first page I will give it also flex and justify center justify center items center so this is the first page this is the first page this is the second page and this is the third page so see the mouse that pointer thing it is not coming out of second page my cursor is here but it is not actually following it properly so to fix that it is just a simple fix we have to change this absolute to fixed position absolute to fixed so when we do that I will reload it and now it is working properly see it is following me on every page and the hovering effect is also looking good so this was a simple effect there are just these I guess 8 to 9 lines of code and but it looks really good on websites 
so thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe thank you